Hello, it's Thaddeus with Square One Fitness, and this is day 13 of the Body Transformation Series. It's Saturday, what do we got? Saturday, October 7th. It's about 8.30 a.m. Like I said, it is day 13, and we are at 171.4 pounds. That's 171.4. That's me there. Still plenty of fat. But definitely feels a little different, a little less to squeeze maybe right in front, and my face definitely starting to feel a little different. So 13 days later, definitely shedding a little of the fat, so that's good. Um, we're going to jump right into the workout here today, and I've been rambling on quite a bit, so we're going to jump in. Did want to tell you though, we're going to be doing legs, we're going to be doing shoulders, and we're going to be doing chest today. So uh, some squat, oh wow, that was a good one, some modified squats. Horrible flexibility through my hips, so we're still learning how to just get down there. Got a left hip issue, but we're not going to get into that right now. Um, we're going to be doing a lot of bench presses, increasing our weight as we go, and then some shoulder stuff, some presses, and some cable pull downs and whatnot. I don't know what that was. I guess that was a cable pull down. Uh, what else? Like I said, we are just going to jump right into it today. Did want to mention, though, thank you very much for watching the videos. If you haven't done it already, please subscribe to my channel, uh, Square One Fitness. Um, we're putting out, like I said, a video every day of the body transformation stuff. Uh, after that, we'll be doing a lot of workout videos and um, different exercise videos. So, if you've been enjoying these videos, please subscribe, hit the like button, and here we go. Uh, lastly, I did want to mention that the pre-workout, C4, for no particular reason. They sell this at Costco, um, so I bought it. And what else? Always stretch before your workout. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do our quick stretch. Coming up now. First up, we got some sit squats, uh, just warming the hips up. Like I mentioned, horrible flexibility through my hips. I'm horrible at squats, so we're really just kind of practicing them, starting out real light, um, trying to strengthen up and get some flexibility through my hips. So enough excuses. 25 pound kettlebells, we're just sitting right down on the bar and standing up, we're gonna do that 25 times. Pretty quickly, just like I said, warming up the hips. Here we go. Five pounds on each side, so 115 total. Whew, still not going for huge weights on the bench. We're still uh, trying to get heavy reps, so we're going to try and do 15 with this, then we're going to increase the weight and try and keep 10 to 15 reps um, per set and just keep going until we're done with the workout, until we can't lift anymore. Anyway, here we go. We're just gonna repeat that whole set again. Sit squats, shoulder press. We're gonna add 10 pounds to the bench and do all that over again. Here we go.
set of wall squats, but for some reason didn't hit record. Anyway, did 100 seconds of wall squats. We're gonna have to do that on a second set, so it doesn't really matter. We gotta do it again in a minute. All right, next up we got internal shoulder rotation with the cable. So 45 degree angle with the forearm. Just gonna be pulling right back to the middle of the body. Trying to keep that elbow tucked into the rib cage as much as possible. Here we go. So up to 135 pounds, still trying to knock out 10 to 12 of them. So here we go. Actually, my second set of wall squats didn't do it forgot to hit record for the first set but did 100 seconds that's kind of my max uh, I'm gonna go for 100 seconds again we're gonna repeat that whole set so wall squats um, internal shoulder rotation and then we're gonna add 10 more pounds to the bench press so here we go two 25 pound kettlebells. We're gonna do 100 step ups with alternating legs. Um, this takes a while, so this video will be sped way up, but gets the quads, but even more than that, gets my forearms holding those 25 pound kettlebells for five to eight minutes without trying to set them down. It's a challenge, so here we go. Next, deep swimmer press on a low shoulder press. Gonna let the weight all the way back down. Bring it all the way up. Man, my forearms are burning. Whew, it's five minutes holding those 25 pound kettlebells and they just burn it up. Here we go. Bench press again. We're up to 155 pounds total. All right, we're gonna repeat that whole set again. We're gonna do 100 step ups. I'm so sure it's very exciting to watch that. Whew. Then we're gonna do our deep swim presses with the kettlebells. We're gonna add probably five more pounds 
to the bench press, making a total of 160. That's kind of my max. Uh, I'm trying to do 10 reps. I can only get eight with the 160, so as soon as we can get 10, we'll go past 160. Anyway, enough explanation, and here we go. How can I help you? Can I help you? You out here to work out? She loves to walk through the videos, doesn't she? Yeah. All right, we're gonna do uh, balance lunges, TRX lunges, Bulgarian lunges. I've heard them called all sorts of different stuff, but basically, leg into a TRX rope, up on a bench, balance, lunge, we're gonna hold weight in one hand, and lunge. I don't know how else to explain it. Here we go, Bulgarian squats, maybe that's what I've heard them called. Here we go. Next, internal, external. I always get which one's confused if this is internal or external. I think I said we did internal rotations last time, so I'm gonna say we're doing external rotations this time. I'll look it up when I go back to my office and see which one's which. But anyway, internal, external shoulder rotations. We're gonna do the other one. Um, this is a much lighter weight for me, uh, especially because of the right shoulder, but still feels really good. So here we go, keep that elbow tucked in. Um, and that's really all I got to say about this. So here we go. More bench presses, we actually went down in weight. Back down to just the 45 pound plate. So 125 pounds, is that right? 135 pounds. I'm gonna try and go back up to 12 reps. There we go. Repeat that set again, all three of those. So we're gonna do our shoulder rotation. Do our balance lunges. And then do uh, our bench press again. So anyway, balance lunges first.
we got super skaters. We're going to do a one leg lunge, a couple little weights, come back up. One of the P90X moves, but it feels good for the quad. So here we go. Shoulder press again with kettlebells. But this time we just throw in that little sit squat with it. So a sit squat to a shoulder press. Here we go. Alright. Bench press again. Oh, still using 135 pounds. That's really all I got to say about it. We're almost done. Oh, we got this, and then we're going to repeat this set. I'll just say it now. We got this, and then we're going to repeat that set. We're going to do the skaters. We're going to do the shoulder press. We're going to do one last set of benches, and then we're done. Saturday workout takes way too long with uh, doing these videos, the workout itself, just the way I got to set everything up. Coming up on two hours. Anyway, here we go. Presses for me, but I did really good. Kept my weight up. Oh, I was able to leave 125 pounds, 3535 pounds on the bar for those last couple sets, and even squeeze out a couple 14s, and then the last one was a 12. So that was really good. Um, again, thank you very much for watching today. Today is day 13 of the body transformation series. Uh, I mentioned earlier down to 171 pounds. I think it was 171.4. Um, definitely feeling a little less fat, and I, I, but I, by that I mean I'm squeezing a little less fat. Um, definitely feel lighter, feel a little stronger already. So that's really good. Um, what else do I wanna say? What else do I wanna say? Today was legs, chest, shoulders. Uh, whew, we do the leg, then we do shoulder, then we do our chest. And then we repeat that with the same exercises and we keep doing that through the whole workout. It took us a while today because of the video. It's about a two hour workout. Oh, but that's okay. That's about my max for time. So that worked out good. Uh, what else? What else? Just rambling along. Once again, thank you very much for watching. Hope you've been enjoying the videos. If you have, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. It really does help a lot. It helps grow my channel. It helps keep me motivated. Coming back for more, making more videos, doing more workouts. So always appreciate that. If you did like the video and you are watching again and again, go ahead and hit that like button. Always like to see that. And if you have any comments about my workout, you want to see me do anything else, or you just have uh, maybe even some suggestions on how to correct some of my form, that's always welcome. Please go ahead and comment down below as well. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Bam!